Hey guys, Eric Rikers here with Bob Horn at the Echo Bar Recording Studios, and what are we doing today? Well, one thing that I've always valued about having professional mixers around me, and even in the same building, having you across the hall, is that I, when I'm working on a mix, I can bring in a friend that's also a mixer and get their opinion and their valuable feedback on what I'm doing, so I'm not left you know, to myself to wonder, you know, is something too bright, is something too loud? you know, how an overall vibe is sounding. Yeah, absolutely, I, I couldn't agree more. Like, it's been a luxury to have you in the same studio with me, because I feel the exact same way. It's always great to be able to come over and ask you to um, maybe put some fresh ears on a mix, you know, listen to uh, and help give me some additional perspective, maybe something I just missed because I was uh, tired or I was too focused on, on one particular thing. All right, all right. Yeah. I think a lot of young engineers, uh, especially mixing at home or mixing alone in a studio, miss out on that you know they're, they're completely alone and definitely the first person that hears their mix is their client yeah. and it's it's nice to have you know a colleague you know have your back and let's do a mix and give you feedback on what you're doing for sure well i think that's a that's one of the reasons why we'd like to offer um any young aspiring mix engineers out there an opportunity to have both bob and myself review your mix for you in depth free of charge and by in-depth, we mean we're going to open up your Pro Tools session and go track by track, plug-in by plug-in, checking out what you did. And we're going to videotape ourselves reviewing the mix and offering advice and doing A-B comparisons along the way. And then we're going to post that mix to YouTube for everyone to check out. We will be taking mix submissions until July 31st. At that time, we will choose one mix that we feel we can lend the most help to. Mix submissions to our email can be in the form of WAV or MP3. But the actual mix sessions that we review will need to be in Pro Tools because that's what we use here at the studio. Once we've chosen the mix to review, we'll reach out to that mixer directly to obtain their Pro Tools session. And for a complete list of the details and the rules on how to submit, there's a link below in the description, so be sure to check that out. We look forward to hearing your mixes.